Hey everybody, it is Mrs. Sherwood here with our conflict video. I know this is a long time coming, um, but remember I couldn't upload the other examples to YouTube due to copyright um, laws. So if you are interested in looking at the video examples, I posted the YouTube links in our reading workshop folder. But this is just a quick reminder of what conflict is and how we can use conflict to help us develop the characters and the plot of the story. So our big question is, why does conflict exist? And so um, hopefully you can get to the answer of that, but also get to critically consume the text, and we often learn about conflict in order for you to read for learning or personal growth or just for enjoyment because we know that the conflict definitely helps to start some drama in our text. So conflict allows for the plot to gain more drama and become more interesting, as we talked about in class. And there are four types of conflict. Man versus man, man versus nature, man versus self, and man versus society. Obviously, we're not always going to have men in our books, and we're not always going to have humans. It might be um, animals, it might be different kind of species, but those are the four generic or general types of conflicts you will see repeated out through literature, and that's what you need to know. Um, and as long as you can back up your claim, like what kind of a conflict it is with textual evidence, you are going to be just fine. Identifying the conflict helps us as readers to understand how the character is going to react and how the story is going to move forward. Without conflict, there's really no point for the story. And so, like I said, that is going to be the shortest amount of our day for the notes. And if you have any questions on conflict, please let me know. I'll have lots of resources for you throughout the week. Thanks so much and have a great day.